if you look on my kitchen counter, you're going to see a wide array of nootropics, nutrients, and supplements that I take on a daily and weekly basis, depending on what I'm looking to achieve. The stack is going to change each day. But the one item that's in my stack every single day is NAC, which is N-acetylcysteine. So what exactly is NAC? Well, it's a powerful antioxidant and it's a precursor to glutathione, which is your body's master antioxidant. So it's really good for your immune system. NAC is derived from the amino acid cysteine and has been widely used for respiratory conditions such as asthma, COPD, bronchitis, etc. I originally became interested in NAC for my sinus, which I've had an ongoing sinus problem. Uh, I'm trying to work up to a deviated septum surgery. I may make some videos about that in the coming weeks. Any event, uh, so I got NAC for my sinus and what I found is that it's a powerful nootropic as well. The cognitive benefits, the clarity and the mood enhancement is pretty dramatic. When it comes down to the benefits for your respiratory system, it's worth noting that NAC is one of the main ingredients in Mucinex and in many of the popular cough syrups. What it does is helps loosen the mucus and clears you up. Uh, there's also mental benefits, as I mentioned, and Dr. Bill Walsh has written a book called Nutrient Power, where he uses NAC to treat conditions like ADHD and OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. So if you're struggling with those, it would be worth looking into. I'm not a doctor, I'm not saying get off your meds, but this could be additive, so check that information out. There was also some controversy around NAC in the last couple of years due to its really powerful effects on the immune system, people were taking it to help support all kinds of conditions. And at one point, Amazon, I believe, had removed it from their website. I'm not sure, but I believe it's back now. In any event, there's plenty of places that you can get NAC online or at your local uh, GNC or pharmacies, etc. I get mine from a really reputable company, not affiliated with these folks, but I spend a bunch of money with them because they just have great products. So I get a powdered form and it comes in this big jug. You can get it in pill form uh, or powder. I, I think those are the only two methods that it comes in. But I like the powder form because uh, the dosage I can measure exactly and uh, there's a, a cost savings for sure. So the, the company I, I use is called Nootropics Depot. They've got a, a pretty heavy online presence, so if you Google them, you will find them. A couple of weeks ago, I was at a doctor talking to him about my sinus and we were discussing NAC and I mentioned that I was using it as, as one of the uh, methods to mitigate my sinus pressure. And he had mentioned nebulizing the NAC, which I had never heard of until that point. And I sort of, Put that knowledge in the back of my head but didn't do anything about it because I didn't know how to nebulize NAC and I wasn't sure what the correct measurements were. A couple weeks later I got an email from a biohacking facility that's here in New York and they were offering nebulized NAC and that's when the bug really hit me and I was like I'm gonna figure out how to do that. I believe I have all the things here. So I'm gonna show you today uh, how to quickly set up a solution to nebulize the NAC. Here are the items that you're going to need. Obviously, you're gonna need NAC. You're gonna to need to sterilize all your equipment. So I've got a sterile cup, a stirring rod, sterile spoon, a packet of salt, which is just nasal wash. Uh, you're gonna use about half of that. And you're gonna need a scale to measure out your NAC. Use the tear function. Place the tray on top, hit tear, and bring it back down to zero. Next, you're going to measure out two grams of NAC. Fill your measuring cup with 100 milliliters of distilled water. You must use distilled water because you're going to be inhaling this. Regular tap water is going to have all kinds of microbes and other funky things that you don't want in your body. Next, half of the packet of salt. What you want to make is an isotonic solution so that it doesn't burn you as it's going in and then you add your NAC and stir until it is dissolved. 
should dissolve quickly. That's all that there is to it. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment. If you're using NAC already and you've got other effects or benefits that you want to share, leave me a comment also. I'm most active on X, so give me a follow there. And if you got something out of this content, share it, like it, and tell somebody else about it. I hope something here helped you today because NAC has definitely helped me. Thanks for watching.